Hello Grade 6, the task that I'm giving you is to do with a Greek mythology called Icarus and Daedalus. There's a few other characters involved in this. We're going to watch a clip which will probably go for maybe 90 seconds, 2 minutes at the most. From there, I'll pause it and I'll give you an update of what it is that we're going to do. This is all to do with multiplication, division, a touch of addition and subtraction thrown in there as well. So hopefully you're able to do this. It's a problem solving activity. You get a million dollars if you can solve it. It hasn't been solved yet, that's why I'm going to give it to you. Good luck with this. Watch this clip. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there lived a man named Daedalus and his young son, Icarus. Daedalus. Daedalus was an inventor and a skilled craftsman. He created wonderful mechanical creations and built architectural marvels. One day, King Minos invited Daedalus to the island of Crete. The king asked him to build a huge maze for his beloved pet, the Minotaur. A Minotaur was a monstrous creature who was half man and half bull. Daedalus worked day and night along with his son to build the ladder. He made it so complicated that anyone who entered the maze would get lost for eternity. He was such a fine architect. When the labyrinth was ready, the king was amazed at Daedalus' skills and rewarded him. Daedalus and Icarus decided to stay on the island for some more days. It was during this time that a group of children arrived at Crete. They sailed away the next day, taking the king's daughter with them, and they had killed the Minotaur too. King Minos was stricken with grief. He believed Daedalus helped the children, as there was no other way they could get out of the maze alive. Okay, we're going to pause it there. Now, the mission that I'm going to give you is I am going to actually get rid of... Let's change this. Let's get rid of... No. Okay, so how this works. The continuation of, from that story is Icarus and Daedalus. I know he pronounced his name differently. I'm going to go with Daedalus. They were imprisoned in a tower, a high tower um, in an isolated island in Crete. From here, they were locked in there, and every now and then they were allowed out to wander around the island under close scrutiny from their guards. They had been in there for a while, locked away, and they were thinking, how could we escape? And they looked around the island, and Daedalus, who was a pretty clever guy, he was an inventor, came up with the idea that he noticed the birds flying around, and the birds' would, uh, feathers would fall off. So he started collecting these feathers. He also noticed there were some bees around, and he was able to collect the beeswax. His idea was that if he was able to use the beeswax and the feathers, put them all together, he might be able to make some wings for both himself and his son, Icarus, and then they could fly off and escape from the tower and the King Minus. So, that was the plan. They built these wings and all set to go. On the night before they were about to fly out, they were having a bit of a sleep, a bit of a sleep, a bit of a snooze, and Icarus had a dream. His dream was that he got a rock, he wrote a number on it, and then he hurled it off the tower. If the, if the number happened to be an even number, just moving this around so we can see here, if the number happened to be an even number, what he would do is he would halve that number. If the number happened to be an odd number, he would triple it and plus one to it. So what that would look like is as, as follows here. So I know it's a bit blurry, you can't see me, but you can see this. This is more important at this stage. So Icarus, if the number was even, he had to halve it. So we'll start with a number. Let's try, I'm gonna go with, let's see what we've got here. We might go with three. 
So let's try with three. Three. And we, what he wanted to do is keep going to his number. If it got down to one, that means that uh, if he was flying, he would crash into the sea and die. Like a dodo, dead, gone, splat, all over. If the number was able to keep going round and not get down to one, he would survive. So his dream was not to get down to one. So here we have an even number or odd number, three. Okay, it's an odd number, so we triple it. So we times it by three, and we add one. So three times three is nine. Plus one is 10. So we're on to 10. Now we look back here. Is it an even number or odd number? It's an even number. So even number, we halve it. Half of 10 is five. Now, is it odd or even? It's odd. So what do we do? We triple it. We times it by three and we add one, which gives us, oh, goes this way, 16. 16 odd or even? It's even. Eight. Odd or even? Divide it by two, we have it, which is four. Odd or even? Even, we have it, two. Odd or even? Even, halve it. He counts one. Smash into the water. Splat, dead, all over, gone. He will die, we don't want that. So your job is to think of a number that you do this to, that Icarus survives, that does not get down to one. And that's what your mission is. Now, on the same night, just before they were trying to escape, Daedalus, the father, had a dream as well. His was very similar. He, his dream was, he had a rock, wrote a number on it, and the same deal, he'd throw it off. Throw it off, and if the number got down to one, he'll die the next day. That was their mentality, that's what they thought. However, the rules were similar when it was an even number. So an even number, you would halve it. However, in Daedalus's case, if it was an odd number, he would triple it, but he would take one away. He would take one away. So let's see what would happen with three. Okay, so I'm gonna go, let's see if I can give a bit more space this way. So in a moment, we'll try this. Let's go with a different color. Let's go with pink. So the number is three, same deal, three, odd or even, odd. So we triple it, but we take one away. Okay, so what have got over here, Daedalus. Uh, must have probably start the trial. Daedalus, um, it's the same, even, even equals half, Half and and if it is odd, if it's odd, if it's odd. We end up times it by three, and then we minus one. So three. Can you see that one there? Get rid of that. So three. It is odd. So we times it by three, we minus one. Times it by three, minus one equals eight. Eight, odd or even? It's even. So we have it. Four, odd or even? It's even, so we, we have it. Odd or even? Even. One, dead, splat into the ground. So that's a problem. We need to try and figure this out. What numbers can we use? We go through this theory and see if we can help them survive. So that is your mission. This is your, I can show you a sheet that I will give you. 
And we'll stick this on our PowerPoint there so you can access to this. The first number I want you to try is, is 7. As you can see, this was our example where he crashed. Okay, so this is Icarus. See if you can find a number that you can work through this. So we'll have this on Google Class, on, on our PowerPoint, and try them out. So we've got Icarus there. Try him for a bit. And then I will get you further down. We have one from Daedalus. Same deal. We have the 3, 8, 4, 2, 1. The number I'll get you to first start off with, 15. Now it could be a two digit number, it could be a one digit number. What you actually want is not to get down to one. Because if it does not get down to one, he survives. Okay, you want to test this theory with a few different numbers. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're looking at. This is the sheet that I'll give you. Good luck. It's a good challenge, this one. Remember, a million dollars up for grabs. Woohoo!